Overnight snow on the weekend left the site looking like this on Sunday. But prudent precautions taken earlier meant that there was little consequence for the formwork in place. Monday's return to work saw form building continued. Note the presence of the survey instruments ensuring that everything is precisely in place. This is craft work engaging labourers, carpenters and iron workers. While the build continued, gravel was constantly arriving, being rolled, compacted and tested. But the greatest attention of all was to the building of the forms. The push to remove spoil from the excavations to prepare the site continued and the compacted gravel base of the new store is growing all the time. Summing up, Monday was a day of form building and the steady removal of spoil in a fleet of trucks that all took place in relatively fair conditions. It was no surprise on Tuesday to see delivery of gravel continue. On the line of the front wall, preparation of the forms continued with reinforcing rod being placed. As midday approached, the signs of forecast snow were evident. With snow turning to rain overnight, on Wednesday when a concrete pumper arrived, the site was both wet and snowy. A steady effort is reducing the size of the spoil pile considerably. The opposite is true of the rolled, compacted gravel areas, which grow daily. This is how a skilled operator cleans his tracks. We'll close our look at Wednesday's work with another look at the concrete operation on what will become the front wall of the building. Noting as we go that precautions were being taken to deal with a forecast snowstorm. The forecast proved to be entirely correct, but it didn't have a significant impact on work. Friday closed the week with an entirely better day and the return of the concrete pumper. A steady stream of concrete trucks kept the work going and the skilled team managing it very busy. The contrast between the ever-growing floor area and the shrinking spoil pile was once again very clear. It's no great surprise when you see the size of some of the trucks involved in the spoil removal. Friday saw the return for the second time of the concrete pumper. If you want to know what happens next week, then be sure to follow this channel. And thanks for watching.